Uh, good evening, guys. Um, Captain Olaf, it's strange that you ask about stream problems. I'm not sure. Um, I'm obviously now trying to do a P3D stream. I can see it's on my screen. I hope you guys can see it. I did get a warning detected that uh, Streamlabs OBS uh, found it difficult two minutes ago to actually stream to YouTube. I'm not sure what that is about because if I go to my actual YouTube control panel, it looks normal. All right. So I hope it works. Otherwise, at the end of the flight, I'm just going to delete the stream and then we try again. You know, I mean, what can we do? Um, if Streamlabs OBS does not want to talk to YouTube, then there's not much I can do. It's it's not a very good platform to talk to YouTube anyway from the word go. But it is set up for my P3D and that's why I'm actually using it. All right, so welcome anyway, and um, thank you for subscribing, uh, Davis Dalton. I did notice that. Thank you so much. Uh, we are going to do our best. I'll talk you through what's happening and not happening and all these things. I don't know what this thing is really complaining about. It's got red marks all over the freaking show here. Um, tell me something. Um, in terms of the screen, in terms of the quality, does it look decent at least? Or not? I mean, is it worthwhile to continue? That's probably what I need to ask you guys. Where are you streaming, Nico? I'll have a look. YouTube, Uncle John. Now, please tell me, because if it's not worthwhile streaming it, then we just stop right here. I am not sure what the fight is behind the scenes between YouTube and Streamlabs OBS. There is obviously a problem between the two companies. Um, so I'm not sure if the one is limiting the other one or just being spiteful or what on earth the story is. But, you know, I'll have to go and set up a profile in my other OBS um, system then to come and do these streams if I need to. All I've got is a fixed picture, and I mean, it's clear at the moment. Yeah, you keep coming up with a little round circle, you know, the... Okay. But just to put you in the picture, there has been some internet problems around the world today. All um, right, okay. Twitch, Twitch was suffering earlier as well. It was internet, not necessarily Twitch's fault. Yeah. Well, this could also be the same thing. Um... I don't know. It could simply just be a, a broken reader somewhere in the line. I don't know. I don't know what the story is. But I keep on getting a frame loss detected. So it's very yeah, frustrating. When we, keep, when we keep on getting a little circle, you know, the winding That's circle in the middle. Yeah, a yeah, circle so goes around twice and then disappears. Yeah, it's intermittent. Mm. But it's not your fault, I don't think, Nico. Yeah. I don't think it's worthwhile streaming then. Then it's going to be a problem. Well, Guys, hmm? just, well, the thing is, we've got no moving aircraft. Okay, so let's go see. So let's do that. Different. Let's do that. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. So we are currently at Jackson Hole. So they are moving the picture. You should see some picture movement. This is Orbex Jackson Hole. Me and Uncle John were sitting here earlier this morning and we were looking at the difference between P3D version 4.5 and P3D version 5. Right? And a couple of things was apparent and a couple of things, you know, were something I misjudged. So I won't go into that detail. One of the funny things is Active Sky seems to have a difficulty drawing proper clouds in the in, in P3D version 5 with the experimental atmospheric model running. We did get clouds eventually, but as you guys can see, there's no clouds. So the thing w seems to work. Active Sky seems to work. The pressure differences are there it seems to be okay but we don't have clouds so i'm hoping if we actually get oh and that flickering is also driving me nuts i'm hoping that once we start to fly 
you know that we will actually encounter some clouds so we'll see all right i'm just quickly going to give you an overview of this airport so you guys have a look see what it looks like in p3d version 5 just want to go turn around there Right. One of the things I did notice is that P3D version 5 has obviously got a different display engine and it, it seems to be producing a more darker uh, kind of shade shader issue. You know, you, you, you get a more darker impression of everything that you see, whereas version 4 is much more vibrant. I tried to play around with my settings. <sighs> Man, I must stop using the explain keys. So, and the one thing is this flashing and flickering and story. This seems to also happen much more in P3D version five. You know, it's not. I don't think this thing was ready for release. I think they just. You know, put it out there so people can buy it before Microsoft brought out 2020. I don't know, I might be wrong. I'll have to see, but well, let's get now. It's evident everywhere. Okay. Yeah. Let's have a look-see. All right, so this is the A2A Cessna 182. Um, I've got it in the V3D version 4.5 as well. Um there's a couple of things we need to do before we get going. Controls lock, why is that not changing? Uh, there we go, now it's off. All right. You might be on a winner because all of a sudden my connection speed in YouTube is Gone up three kilobytes per second. All right, excellent, excellent. Yeah, we're not going to fly that far. I'm going to use about 65% of each fuel tank. I'll put in about 65%. Need to top up our oil. We're going to choose our lady to fly with. Um, Uncle John, I will put the blonde in the back for you as well, okay? All right. Bless you, sir. Yeah, let's just check the anger, see that we don't have any mishaps or any problems. Nope, seems okay. So well, we I ask you to keep your eyes on the front. Don't keep looking round. Yeah, don't worry, sir. Uh, you you do what you you know want to do at the back. We we won't bother you. We will be ready in front and doing our thing. All right, so. Let's get some life into this aircraft beacon and navigation. Uh, we've got to change that one a little bit. Right, I need to. Oh, I need to change the controls now. Uh, guys, you won't, I don't think you can see the controls. I don't know why it doesn't transmit them. Uh, you'll see the mouse move. Just uh, be with me. I'll be back in a second. So. And propeller axis needs to be that one. All 
Right, let's see. Right, then we're going to put in a little bit of a, a fuel pump. Store some fuel in there. Should be enough. We're going to pull back, cut off the fuel. Right, so the um, yoke does not allow us uh, to use the functions on the yoke. I'm just going to use everything with the mouse. Let me get my hand on that side. There we go. System test okay. Why am I not seeing the flight plan? Mm, you know what? I could have copied that into the incorrect P3D installation. I think it might be in version 4. Let me just go see. Yes, I did. I will be able to actually grab it. Hello, Krister. Just move this over to P3D version 5 now. Paste. See if we can import it now. There must be a way of refreshing it without actually restarting P3D. Yeah, it's a nice place, Krister. Very nice place. Let's go back a bit. Restart it. Skate Jackson now. Yeah, that's fine. Menu. Catalog. Not gonna be there. Store menu import. Okay, let's see if we can make it manually. Then it shouldn't be too hard. I just need to start my little nav map again. Right, the question is now, how do we activate this? Active, active, store, delete, well, we have, mm, we did the preview, let's see if we go out, flight plan. So it seems that is the flight plan then immediately, let's go to the map. Yeah, we got it, we got it. Right, our wind is 256 at 19 knots, so that's going to be a 1-9 takeoff. We'll have to taxi all the way down there. Let's just zoom in a little bit more. Let's 
So I put that one away. What's the stream like, guys? Still keeping up? Oh, mine radar. I was just about to say, perfect. Okay. Uh, I was getting annoyed there in the beginning, man. All right. So we're going to go for GPS. Message we can put away. We'll use that one for terrain. Um, we're probably going to go up to about eight five uh we'll we'll look there's no victor airways between these airports in in a proper manner of any sorts of note so what we'll do is um i'm going to basically fly vfr just follow the road or the terrain or something you know kind of like dead reckoning and we'll just go and enjoy the flight as we go on you know and just keep the little magenta line in our eye at some point in time not to stray too far okay so just to put you guys in the picture with that and we'll see if we actually even use this um, autopilot we'll see we'll see so without wasting further time let's see everybody's happy Alright, let's go. Why are we turning in circles? Is the rudders not working? That's weird. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot turn right. How's that possible? Hang on. I have to check this rudder then. <laughs> That's funny. Sorry, I'll be back in a second. Guys, I just need to go check this. Calibrate, calibrate. Wow, I've forgotten these screens even exist. I'm literally in the Windows device calibration thing now for this. I was used to explain doing everything in the game, in the simulation, Uncle John. The color is quite vivid, it's very good. Good, good. Okay, well, let's try again. If we can't taxi, we can't go anywhere. What the heck? I mean, autopilot isn't on. What on earth could cause this? Look at that. That wheel is just skew. Hi. Have you got some? There, there must be something else here. Yeah, look, um, correct. That could also be it. Let's. I'm just gonna fiddle with all my joysticks quickly. Let's see. It's definitely not this one. That's the power. Let's move this one. Some way there must be something interfering. Let me quickly go and have a look see again in the control setup because I've got the X52 connected. I've got the other, oh, there's a couple of joysticks things connected. Let's have a look see. Access assignments. Damn it. Hmm. 
Yeah, currently there are no other assignments. Let me just say, look on the keyboard for instance, Tiller, there's no such thing. Rad, rudder, uh, rudder, your left, right. Delete, delete, and delete. Hmm. Try again. <laughs> uh, nope. Okay, let's see. Maybe in the aircraft setup. There's nothing here. Hello, killer. Um, this is confusing me. There's nothing here. Let's suggest this. Look at my rudder at the back. You guys can see. Look at that rudder deflection. I mean, that works. <laughs> the moment I let go of the uh, brake, because I'm using toe brakes now. The moment I let go of the toe brake, this thing just spins. I can't turn right. I'm literally using the toe brake to try and turn right. Well, you know what? I'm going to do my best. Let's, let's try and get in the air. I'll figure it out later. Let's, let's just go fly. Hello, Paul. Hello, Jordan. Okay, here's, here is something to think about. The wind is 252 at 17. I'm wondering if the wind isn't having an influence. Look, I'm wondering if this wind isn't just spinning us around here. Because I'm fighting against something that I cannot see. <laughs> this is funny. This is terrible. I'm wondering if it's not the wind. Kind of silly to think that, but 
anyway. This is very interesting. I hope we don't kill ourselves trying to take off in this wind because this is going to be crazy. 253 at 18 knots. So, anyway, we'll try. fully deflecting into this wind now kicking the rudder slightly ah it seems to be okay Ooh, losing losing the battle don't do that don't do that <laughs> whoopsie <laughs> that was crazy that was stupid Yeah, Jordan, we heard. We heard you, you were actually talking to us in case you did, can't remember. Um, yeah, oh, no, that's perfect. Uh, what you need to do if you don't want to get the announcements is just ring the bell and I switch the bell off. kind of unpleasant to fly in weather like this the the thing that well maybe let's not talk about that I'm, I'm puzzled there are a couple of things that happened during this takeoff run that I find weird are you guys still on discord with me yes. Yes. Sure am. Yeah. Good luck when you get airborne with the wind. <laughs> oh, I've just got airborne, Uncle John, and it's crazy. If you didn't see it, then your um, stream is lagging, so you need to press your... It is lagging. You're still on the deck at the moment. All right, okay. Well, watch watch it through because you're on the PVR then. So watch it through until I'm in the air, and then you need to press uh, F5 to refresh your page to get to the current one because I nearly smacked into the ground there. I, I just saw it. I took it took a nose dive and I had to pull quite hard to get into the air. And um, okay, the one thing that did puzzle me is usually when you have a crosswind like that, your aircraft nose actually turns into the wind. This aircraft did completely the opposite. It actually pu pushed the nose out of the wind. Um, but I used the normal uh, aileron deflecting into the wind and then a bit of rudder, and that seems seem to get me going again but why the nose would point away from the wind that that puzzles me i don't know any any guesses no idea at all all i do know is that i've uh, aborted those sort of flights in real life when i felt that yeah <laughs> look at jordan <laughs> he says my notifications are custom. It's Jim Belushi yelling toga toga toga. Awesome, awesome. That's cool. 
yeah, this was this was an unpleasant takeoff, really unpleasant. And I mean, um, the wind here is lively. I mean, this is the new experimental flight model from from P3D from Lockheed Martin. So I suppose it's still got quirks and something. It's still in beta. I would have shut down the the throttle straight away. Well, in the real world, I wouldn't even have attempted this, Uncle John. The, uh, this is for entertainment purposes only, really. I mean, we we not even gonna lie. This this isn't supposed to simulate a real flight at this point in time. It's it's completely reckless. So this is just for the the fun of it. Um, Appreciate it. Yeah, killer, come join me. Come fly the same route. Come from uh jackson all depends on what you want to fly i mean if you've got ms 2020 uh the scenery here looks very nice come to jackson all the detail is in the stream and uh, i won't see you you won't see me but come fly this flight this is an awesome area to fly in you know i mean look at these mountains just turn off you're, you're playing x plane you right no this is p3d sorry uncle john um, highly recommend turn off the weather before you try to take <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that will change the weather. Wait, uh, for P3D, do you have to pay like a monthly subscription or something? No, no, P3D, you have to buy. Don't, don't get it. Don't get it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, w I was gonna get it, but then like long no, time ago, I said no. no, but I said no. No, get MS 2020. Go fly that. I have that. All right. Okay. So if you want to know where to fly, come fly this yeah, flight. Yeah, I saw. I saw in your description. I'll, I'm gonna plan my stuff now. All right. Okay. So there we are. Um, it's a beautiful area this, I must be honest. Um, I came to have a look in 2020, it's really, really beautiful. It is a naturally beautiful area. Let's just... Could, could I do live weather? Yeah, why not? See what it looks like. I mean, I'm pulling live weather, yeah. It's, it was a... It was really like <laughs> wind. <laughs> it could barely take off. Yeah, almost crashed. Anyway, it's up to you. You do what you feel is comfortable with what you want to do. What would have been interesting for you to come back and see if you could land it? Uh, Uncle John, there's two, two landings we're going to do just now. We'll we'll see what the wind is like. The wind is 269 at 20 knots right now. Yeah. So we'll see. Beautiful lakes, beautiful mountains, love it. My girlfriend's crushing my hand. <laughs> Well, Uncle John, that's when you need to put your arm around the shoulder. Just hold on tight. I've got no blood left in my hand. But, um, uh, Christian, I haven't checked. We discussed it in the last stream as well. I have not checked. Um... It's probably going to be something like 15 or 20 knots max. I mean, this is like pushing limits. You saw how the aircraft behaved. It just took a nose dive when the wind got in the right way, you know, into the airfoils there. So I think it's, it's in the real world, I wouldn't have done this flight. I would have said, no, oh, wait until tomorrow. Thank goodness this is a simulator. We can do crazy things like this. What aircraft should I use? Uh, in FS 2020, I think a nice one would be either the Cessna 172 or the Cirrus SR22. Um, 
I'm not familiar really with the others, so those are the two ones I really like to fly in FS2020. David, are you flying? I must say it's kind of pleasant to just fly this thing by hand it's not that bad I mean but you can see there's lots of movement in this atmosphere still no sign of any clouds Nico 
No, we just got the haze. So the weather impact is active then? Yeah, the weather is active and um, according to Active Sky, well, we've got the correct pressure and we've got the correct winds. According to Active Sky, there is like very fluffy kind of um, clouds ahead of us, you know, but it's scattered. It's not, how can I put it? That's the right term. Um, it's, it's spread out. It's not a big column or a big clump of clouds. It's just scattered. So we'll see if we can actually see any. Oh yes, Christer, definitely. Well, I must be honest, I don't uh, mind seeing these ones. These ones were really good there at the back, because I think it is also a photo overlay that they pull over at the Orbex guys. It wasn't too bad for me. I really liked it as well. What's the outside temperature by any chance, Nick? Uh, 57 Fahrenheit and 14 C. Okay. What I was going to add was that when you've got mountains and hills, in real life, they are dangerous. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, sorry, Iris. Um, I just went for it. But you're right, that wind was a lot. Eh? Anyway, good try, good try. At least you did try. You can always change the wind, by the way. Still fly the flight, but just change the wind. Go bit in clear skies or something. Just forget the weather for a bit. Take off. Yeah, and enjoy. Even on the limits of the wind, you need to be an extremely experienced pilot. Hmm. I almost wasn't. Oh, he says he's in the air now. He probably changed it. Ah, okay. Yeah, he also persevered, just went through it. So 
So the wind at our destination is 290 at 10 knots gusting 15. So it's slightly less than now. Um, hopefully Still we'll be have, challenging. Yeah, hopefully we'll have a decent enough landing. So the first stop is going to be at West Yellowstone. We're going to stop there quickly, have a look around, you know, like I normally do. And then we'll get going onwards to Bozeman for the next leg. If weather permits, wow, the weather there does not look good. We might get in. We might get in. We'll give it a bash. Like I said, it's a simulator. We'll give it a bash. <laughs> He's turning back. <laughs> yeah, it's heavy. Okay, enjoy. Yes, sir. The more you flight sim, the more you get respect for real pilots, what they have to contend with. Uh, for sure. Have you pressed F5 on your keyboard yet, Uncle John, to refresh the stream? Yes, I have, sir. Thank you. there one thing that's very prominent is the up and down drafts for some reason one moment I trim up the one moment the next moment I trim down and you know it's very really, really difficult to find stability there
Hey Mike. Uh, excellent, excellent. Yeah, that's a better deal. Um, extract that, then get version 5, unless uh, version 6 has been released already, and just put it in place. And, um, like you said, maybe you need to redo Abitab as well, but the rest should be fine, and then everything should be okay. Just follow my install guide. Ah, oh, that's good to hear. My windows died down to six knots. Currently, I only have six knots. So for, You're lucky, double. Yeah, for me, it's also good. According to Active Sky, the meter still says 290 at 10, gusting 15. So that's why I put the heading bug on about 290, so I can see where the wind's coming from and just keep it in mind there. I'm looking forward to seeing you come in. Yes, sir.
I'm not sure, I'm guessing, but I'm thinking in that region somewhere there should be the airport. And uh, actually it isn't. If I look at the map, it could be there as well. I'm not sure. I'm not familiar with this area. Maybe we must trust the GPS more. <laughs> somewhere in front, guys. Somewhere in front is an airport that we want. And look at that wind just coming back like that. 15 knot wind already again. Wow. And we've got clouds, Uncle John. Fantastic. Yeah. Where's the airport? Is this the airport in front of us? I'm going to uh, cry if it is. Because then I had my bearings completely wrong. This might actually be the airport. We'll overfly it and we'll make our decision then. Because the wind's coming slightly from the left. So we have to be in, in semi this direction to land properly. I don't know what the airport even looks like. What the runway layout is, nothing. And I've got a sinking feeling this is probably it. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Krister. Thanks for stopping by. This, this looks like a town of some sort. This is not the airport. I don't think. This strip here kind of reminds me of a runway. Maybe that's it. Oh, I don't know. Could very well be. Kind of reminds me of an airport. Yes. Yes. Do a unmanned uh, airfield approach here. We'll go over the top and then turn. Yeah, it looks like the airport. This is very well blended into the scenery, my goodness. In the old days with FSX and everything, um, you know, you could spot the airport a mile away, 10 miles away.
Well, this is tarmac and not grass. Yeah. Oh boy, to try and make a coordinated turn right now is like almost impossible. <laughs> Forget the wall. Right, so we have a 14 knot wind coming from the direction of that hitting bug there, which is crazy. I'm not going to use full flaps for this landing, there's not even a remote chance of that. Safe landing, sir. Well, I'm going to try my best, Uncle John. No, oh, that wasn't too bad. Much better than when we did the previous part of the tour when I always bounced on landing. Remember that? It drove me crazy to do that every time. You've already landed? Yes, sir. Wow, I've just done an F5 as well. It's way, 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 way behind. Okay. You're still on the approach as far as I'm concerned. Okay, no worries. No, no, no. We, uh, we have landed and uh, again I've got this taxi problem. This aircraft does I'll not let you like... Know when we touch. Okay. This aircraft does not like taxiing in winds like this. And um, the funny thing is... Uh, we might not get to our parking spot. <laughs> this is crazy. I love the grass and, you know, what I see in the scenery. Touch now. Okay. So, how did you like that touchdown? Yeah, the, the, the touchdown was good. I'm, I'm just concerned at why the delay of that length. Yeah, I don't know, Uncle John. Um... I can't get off this runway because I can't turn right, so I don't know how the hell to get off now. It's just pushing me left. Ah, there we've got some right control. Oh, this is silly. Ah, really? Uncle John, I've just checked, that's why I was standing in the middle of nowhere. I just checked the latency on my stream. I did book it for low latency, so I, I don't know, sir. Well, I reckon it's somewhere around about 30 seconds. Yeah, which is terrible. Well, we're not going to be able to taxi to <laughs> the other side, because there's no authority in this aircraft to turn right. Nothing. This wind is... Literally killing me. Let's make a donut here and try 
Is the wind back? Yeah, yeah, terrible. terrible. Have you got enough fuel? Oh, oh, I've got plenty. Okay, that was maybe a very clever decision to make a donut there. Wow. Madam in the back wants a pay anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle John! <laughs> okay. We're there almost. <laughs> Tell Madam to be a Madam. Hey Nico, hey everybody. Hey Jordan, how are you doing? Hi. I'm good sir. How are you? Struggling, really struggling to taxi in this wind. Initially we thought it was a controller issue and then we put two and two together. It must be the wind. This wind is silly. It's terrible. I, I was watching you on the screen. It didn't look too fun. Yeah, I cannot turn right. Look, again. Now I've turned enough to mess it up again. See, come on. Turn, 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 turn. No, nope, the moment I let go of that right toe brake, we just go back to spinning left. I don't think I'm going to do a next leg. We'll wait until next week. We'll have to wait till the wind dies down. We'll call it quits right well, here. Well, to be honest, only an idiot would fly in those wings. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Uncle John, for for waiting until I cancelled it. It's a pleasure, but, you know, I tried to say as as pleasantly as I could. I, I know, which is fair. Fortunately, you said it after I cancelled, I would because I didn't want to be an idiot on my own stream. So thank you for just waiting until I cancelled it for, and then saying it. I know, this yeah. is ridiculous. I do find it sort of strange that the clouds suddenly appear as they did. <laughs> well, let me show you the picture. Then you might understand it better. So let me get this stream thing and go to display capture and let me drag it across. So it's obviously not perfect, but we were coming through this layer that I told you about, which I couldn't really describe properly, which didn't show any clouds and then obviously we have this big layer of cloud there which is going to make it tremendously dangerous and uncomfortable to fly to Bozeman right now um, because that's where we are and it's obviously I think it's this bank of clouds here that is now busy coming our way which is obviously now visible you know on the outside that's partially where they come from it's the only thing I can think of um, it no. could it could also be part of a, a system problem with the beta, using a beta weather engine with a beta simulator weather engine. Mike, it, well, was, it, it was a crazy takeoff. I would never do it in the real world. But anyway, yes, Uncle John? I just, uh, just, uh, she said, thank you for stopping the engine. I'm crossing my legs. Okay, tell it to jump out quickly. She has, uh, she's, she's gone. Okay. Yeah, Mike, I also use Explain, as you know, by default. But um, for this tour, the whole idea is to fly from Orbex Airport to Orbex Airport, you know. And um, that's why we are here doing it in P3D, because these airports simply do not exist in Explain uh, coming from P3D. So there we are. Welcome to Yellowstone Airport, everybody. I think we're going to hit the restroom and then the restaurant. Uncle John, um, when we come back, we'll meet you and we'll have some pies or something, okay? Yeah, I've just I've just put the order in, Nico. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's crazy. All right, so next Sunday, we'll take the next leg. We'll go to Bozeman and hopefully we've got better weather then. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday evening. Uh, I'm going to go and rest now. Um, guys on Discord, I'll be with you in a second.